Hello everyone on this channel. This is Marie and today I want to show you how to configure workflow to send a user a reminder about booked appointment. If you are interested to see how it works, watch this video till the end. And also to support the channel, please subscribe and put a like to this video. And we'll get started! Before proceed to the tutorial, check if you have Jet Form Builder, Jet Appointment and Jet Engine plugins installed. In this tutorial, we will work with Jet Appointment. For this plugin, you need to have a post type for services and providers in Jet Engine. If you don't have Jet Appointment plugin configured yet, you can easily do it by clicking on the Setup section. In the settings, you need to select the post type for the service and also enable providers if you need them. Also, you can create additional columns if you need to save data from the form to the appointment. Pay attention to the columns that are created automatically. You cannot duplicate them with the same name. In the next step, you can configure the global settings of the working hours. In the last step, you can enable integration with WooCommerce Checkout and generate forms that would not create them yourself. We recommend using Jetform Builder for this. After that, the plugin will be ready to use. You can proceed to more specific settings. I have already configured the plugin as I need. The services are linked to the providers as well as I have adjusted the form as I need. If you don't have same settings ready, Please do this. So, I just need to customize the workflow. Let's go to Jet Appointment Settings Workflow section. First, you need to activate workflow and create a new item. The first step is to select the event when workflow will be triggered. It can be creating an item, creating a group of items, or changing the status of the appointment. To send a reminder, we need to select the event appointment created. The next option is to choose when to send the message. Immediately after the creation or certain number of days before the day of the event. Let's choose scheduled before appointment option and set up number of days before appointment date. I will set one day before appointment. In the workflow, we can create two actions, send email or call webhook. We need the email option. We need to select the field where email of the user who made the reservation is stores. This can be done by clicking on the dynamic tag in the field and select the user email macro. Then we fill in the fields email subject, send from email, send from name as needed. The most important thing is to customize the text of the email. Here you can add any content including text and macros. I want to add the name of the user from the custom column that I created when configuring the plugin. As well as the time of the appointment and the name of the service and provider. Workflow settings are saved automatically after the changes. Let's see how the form works. I will do that from the single service page. Open the service page, select the date and time of the service, fill in all the additional fields, Now you can see that the order has been created successfully. As you can see, 
I booked the service for September 4th. And on September 3rd, I received a reminder on my email about the appointment. That's how quick and easy it's to set up a reservation reminder email. Use it, ask your questions in the comments of this video, and see you soon. Cheers!